this video, we will be talking about the structure of tRNA and what its function is. Let's begin with a quick review about what tRNA does. tRNA is involved in protein synthesis and it will bring amino acids to the ribosome based on the specific mRNA sequence, also called the codon. Now, let's talk a little bit about the structure of tRNA. So as you can see over here, this is the structure of tRNA. It's made of about 75 to 90 nucleotides, and it is in the shape of a clover leaf. It's also the smallest RNA as well. It has an anticodon end right here. That part binds to the mRNA. So as you can see over here, that part binds to the mRNA. It also has a 3' prime end with a CCA, also known as cytosine, cytosine and adenine. So it has that at the tail along with a 3' prime OH. There are also two arms of the tRNA. So there's a T arm over here. The T arm has ribothymidine, pseudouridine, and cytidine. This sequence is necessary for tRNA to bind to the ribosome. The D arm over here has dihydrouridine residues, which are needed for the amino acyl tRNA synthetase to recognize the tRNA. Remember that the amino acyl tRNA synthetase allows for the binding of a specific amino acid to the tRNA. While we're talking about this, let's talk a little bit about how this occurs. When an amino acid is bound to a tRNA molecule, this is called charging the tRNA. So let's take a look down here. Amino acyl tRNA synthetase uses one ATP molecule, shown right here. So it uses one ATP molecule to charge the tRNA, meaning it uses one ATP to attach an amino acid to the tRNA at the three prime CCA end of the tRNA. So you can see over here, this amino acid is attached to the three prime end. Amino acyl tRNA synthetase is really good at making sure the right amino acid is attached. This is so we can ensure that the right amino acid is inserted into the protein that you're making. If an incorrect amino acid is attached, the bond is broken via hydrolysis, and this enzyme will reattach the right amino acid. Now, what happens if a mischarged tRNA gets released and goes to the mRNA? So what happens if a tRNA that was supposed to be carrying leucine is now carrying methionine instead? And let's just say that the amino acyl tRNA synthetase was not able to catch this error. Do you guys know what would happen if this occurred? Well, the answer is that it would just insert the wrong amino acid. This is because the tRNA doesn't really know too much. I like to think about it like that. So all it does is it brings the amino acid over. It doesn't know which one's right or wrong. That's the job of amino acyl tRNA synthetase. So all it does is bring the amino acid over and attach it. So if the wrong amino acid is attached, it's going to attach the wrong amino acid. One thing I wanted to clarify is about the codons. So this would always confuse me when I was learning it. The codons on the table that you normally see are listed from 5' prime to 3' prime in terms of the mRNA. So if the start codon is AUG, that means that A is at the 5' prime end and the G is at the 3' prime end. This always confused me and I just wanted to clarify. This also means that the anticodon for AUG, aka the sequence that is on the tRNA, will have U at the 3' prime end, A in the middle, and C at the 5' prime end. Also, going back to a previous video about RNA polymerases, do you remember which RNA polymerase makes tRNA? That's right, it's RNA polymerase 3. So if you don't remember that or are interested in learning about that, I will put the link to the video on the screen for our RNA polymerase video. Now let's sum up the super important facts for this video. tRNA brings an amino acid to the ribosome. It has many sites, including an anticodon end that binds to the mRNA. It has a 3' end with a CCA tail that binds to the amino acid. 
It has a T arm that helps T RNA bind to the ribosome. It has a D arm that helps T RNA bind to the amino acyl T RNA synthetase for this enzyme to add the correct amino acid to the T RNA. Thank you for watching this video. If you got this far, please give this video a like. Comment below with questions or if you want us to make a video on a different topic. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a future video.